Superstar gang, what it do? It is I, the Supreme King. To all my royals, how art thou? To all my commoners, what it do? And to all my haters, hmm. <laughs> Welcome to the King's Garden, God's Garden. As you see here, we have so much abundance going on. We have so much abundance going on. Check out my raspberries. Oh Lord, they look so beautiful and lush. You see that? Look how red that's looking. But they're supposed to be black, negro, dark, dark, dark. Look at that back there. God is so good. Now those are blackberries, right? So look at my raspberries. They're starting to come in with some color. They look muy gordo. Muy gordo. That's a burnt leaf. Yeah. Then we got some new canes coming in. See all my new canes. It's my new, my new, new cane. You feel me? So, they have good production. You understand? You understand? This is my strawberries. I don't worry about the noise. I have an ignorant uh, maintenance man around here. You know, sometimes when you see people or you got to deal with people in life, sometime in life it's people that have no objective but to be a loser. I always tell you, peasantry. Peasantry is at an all-time high. Through a lot of these videos, I will be giving you displays of peasantry. You dig? So let's get back to these. Blueberry tree. Oh wait, I have a blueberry bush. You see, when people see you doing something, they want to be all extra loud and stuff. But they can't. They can't get loud. They can be all loud all they want because you see them. You see them bell peppers. Wow. Oh, they can't grow bell peppers, baby. Oh, my Serrano. I had a flower right here. And uh, you might be producing. There might be something growing right there. I don't know. I was hoping that I was gonna get my first little pepper. And yeah, I do have a cherry tree. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yeah, it's my ghost peppers now. Come on now. Come on now. So we 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 got we got some 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 pies accumulating on top of there now. You hear me? That's just to bring some more beauty and extravagance. But that's my jalapeno plant. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? We got, we got the king cobra so I can eat all the snakes. I had to hire this nigga so he can eat all the snakes. And you heard what I called him. Because these snakes are called naggas. The more you have, the more powerful you are. Okay, so that was a quick history lesson. Anyway, that's a uh, bell pepper. No, that's a jalapeno. That's another jalapeno. This right here is a bell pepper again. Oh, look at you, Bell. I see you in there. You see me in there? You're trying to be productive. That there is a uh, Mad Hatter pepper. It's, it's getting full because I cut it from the top, and now uh, it's just looking real abundant. It was looking real thin. In there. So when you prune your pepper plants, you want to prune them from the top. Very true. Right? And you see how beautiful my sunflowers look. Let's go back here a little bit. That's my habanero plant. Don't get it misconstrued. I just love the beauty of my habanero because she's starting to produce. You see the little pods in there? Yeah, yeah. Them pods in there looking good. I got my shark. You know what I mean? My Swiss shark. I got my beautiful, beautiful lettuce. I got my grapes. Come on, we getting full out here. You see how the watermelon is looking? At first, it was like one small little plant with two little 
pods on the leaf pods. Now it's looking popping. Yeah. Come on now. Come on now. I did that. I did that. I did that. Come on now. Let's check on our cucumbers today. We have no cucumbers yet, but we're growing. Uh oh, we got a flower, y'all. We got a flower. You see that? That's our first flower. I don't know if that's gonna be a male or a female, but you know what that means. Ooh wee, ooh wee. <laughs> Come on, baby. We got more grapes. Yeah, we got that romaine, some more lettuce. I had just uh, um, took some off. You know what I'm saying? Um, whatever you wanna call it. Um, we got a bend in our engine. Uh oh, so what's going on down there? Normally, they supposed to have formed some type of bulb or onion down there once you get out to get the little bin but i don't know i took this from the grocery store and implanted it in there so this is my science project now look at this y'all yeah that's that good husky red tomato you feel me with a ooh we a red tomato come on now, i'm gonna tell y'all something i don't even I don't even mess with tomatoes like that, y'all. I'm not a tomato man. I've never been because McDonald's and all the burger places messed it up. They made it, the tomatoes be all soggy and stuff. You feel me? I don't like soggy tomatoes. No, no. Anyway, I've been trying to eat better and do better for myself. Therefore, I started to try to implement things I didn't like, which was the tomatoes and my salads and stuff like that, right? And... Through that trial and tribulation, I started noticing that tomatoes ain't bad if they, if they taste sort of good, if they fresh, you feel me? So, that's my first one. Yeah. I had this plan when I first got in, there was nothing on it. Go back to that first video. We're going to eat this one today. I'm going to taste you today. Yeah, I'm going to taste you today. That's my uh, cilantro. It's looking nice and abundant. And we got a um, big boy tomato plant. It's growing up. It's growing up, it was real small at first. It was real small. You know what I mean? So, let's go, y'all. Let's go to this next. Oh, watch the camera. See? So now we got a big boy. You know what I'm talking about? Big beef tomato. You know what I'm talking about? Big beef. Who got that big beef? You need that? You need that in them screeks? That's big beef. Big beef tomato. Looking gorgeous. Look how big she getting, you know? She was like down there when I first had her. Now she way up there with the tomatoes. She didn't have nothing on her. Nothing, nothing. Now check me out. That's another husky. And she looking real fruitful. You know what I'm talking about? Real fruitful. Real about this. Yeah. Yeah. Man, we got two reds on there. Yeah. Like I said, I don't know when it... I don't eat tomatoes like that, but I'm going to eat them today. You feel me? See the banana? That's Musa. My banana plant, y'all. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah, I went to Home Depot and got me some hydrangeas. You see my uh Venus fly trap. I'm over here tropical. You know what I mean? We still popping. We still over here. Venus fly trapping. You know what I mean? Trap house, trap house, trap house. You know what I'm talking about? That's my other banana plant. So I have two banana trees. Yes. Do not get in this one screwed. I have an olive tree. Do you know how frivolous I am? I have an olive tree. Do you have an olive tree? Now let's spin it over here. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Looks beautiful, don't you agree? It's just art. I made that so it can look, you know, just be artful. Because I am an artist. I am an artist. So yeah, that's my tour up in the water my garden i got my little water bucket you know what i'm talking about I'm gonna start watering everything getting much they don't need too much the peppers don't even need too much you feel me you're going to water from the base y'all water from the base you know what i'm talking about water from the base you don't want no splash on your on your uh stems on your your, your leaves you want to water from the base i'm doing all this to teach our young men and women how to do better you can grow your own vegetables you can grow your own food you can
can do you. Create your own world. Make sure you let it be something like that. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I mean? Put some little, not too much on the grapes. You know what I'm saying? A watermelon. You got to water the watermelon. You want to water the watermelon. Make sure you're nice and full. You know what I mean? The watermelon likes the water. Yeah, man. Watermelon likes the water. But all me plants, no, me going to come to the base. Water like that, huh? Sometimes it's sprinkle on top of hot days. I have a mist of fork. And my cucumbers. Don't give them a lot of water. Yeah. Yeah. And my cucumbers. And my lettuce. Oh. You see that? I ain't never had that anymore. I gotta cut them off. Gotta cut them off like a bad habit. You did. But yeah. I'm just out here trying to be fruitful, abundant, and productive. Yeah, that's my olive tree. So I do have olives. You know what I'm talking about? You got the little baby olives and stuff like that, right? You know what I mean? I'm, too, I'm zoomed in so you can see it, I'm sure. Then we got some big olives back here. Let's see that. That's a big olive. So it's growing, y'all. I got this olive tree off of a... 10,000 year old tree. You know that? I got that tree off a 10,000 year old tree. I do have indoor plants. You know what I mean? But your ferns, you want to make sure your ferns are moist. They like water. Water. And humidity. Water and humidity. You feel me? So you got to make sure they got that. These also water plants. I don't like the sun. I just put them right here. I sort of put them out here too late. You feel me? Got to make sure I add some water to my uh, waterfall, whatever you want to call it, because it's hot. Evaporation is a real issue in America. <laughs> uh, don't get evaporated. So this is what the king does. He take care of his garden. Make sure you take all care of your life your fruits and your vegetables. Don't be a peasant. You can do anything you put your mind to. You know what I mean? Stay sucker free. And uh, don't forget to water your <laughs> sunflowers. The dirt look like that. When I first got these, they was uh, dry as a bone. Big disrespected. Now they are in the king's garden and look at you. Look at them. I wanna leave y'all with that. You know what I mean? Stay hydrated. Get it. All right, I told y'all I don't really eat tomatoes, but doing all this growth, I'm gonna eat this one today. You feel me? Yeah, let's sort of hold on, y'all. Make sure I cut her off right. Oh. 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 I did that. I did that. I did that. <laughs> That's good all the time. So. Now we're gonna see what it tastes like. We're gonna see what this tastes like. Yeah, I'm gonna go wash him off, but I'm gonna see what this tastes like. Hold on. All right, here we go. So, you see how wonderful it looks? <laughs> we. Yo. Yo. Freshly cut. Yo. 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 So, for a person that don't eat tomatoes, <laughs> you're gonna see what type of time I'm on. Let's go. There you go. Mm. That ain't bad. Tastes like a tomato.
it has a cherry note to it. I ain't gonna hold you. Wait a minute. I would have been spit this out. I would have been spit this out. The skin is like, I'm still chewing on it. The skin is like a little bit nice and tough. Not tough, but you know what I mean? But the inside, it tastes like a ch cherry type type. Okay, tomato plant. Promise you, this is my first time in my whole life eating a tomato straight up like this. Got seeds, you know. You can put these seeds back into the ground. You put them in a the pot and grow them back. No cap. I ain't been able to shoot right because I gotta go to the dentist. Well, got a root canal issue and stuff. So that's part of the reason why. I ain't like did all kind of videos because my real man discombobulated. No cap. People want to hunt But it was hard for me to true. But this right here, I ain't mad at it. This is a person that don't eat tomatoes, but I can see how it's going on the salad and all that kind of stuff. I'm glad I grew it. Cherry tomato. Yes, sir. I'm a gardener. <laughs> Ha 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 